today we have a package. Let's open it. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, yes. I think this is how you open it. Oh, no, no, no. This is not how you open it. You open it like this. Boom. Oh baby! Oh my baby! Oh hello! Oh my! Oh nice! And, uh, I don't have a damn clue what that is, but. Yeah. And all that. I'll figure that out. And there we go. Okay. Let's see. Oh baby. I don't know how this comes out. Ah, oh, it even comes with a lens cap. Oh, the lens is in good condition. Look at that beauty. Oh, my. I'm gonna have to let it cool down, but damn, look at that. I don't know what this is. This obviously goes on top. Or so I thought. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see. This is a mount. Okay. That goes there. And then. Oh, yes. I think I see. Or do I? Oh, yes, I do see. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, no, 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 that goes the other way. Okay. And look, oh, and look at that. Tuner assembly is fully intact. What's this? Okay, let's not do that then. Look at that high quality microphone. It's gonna need a pure clean now. I don't know what this is. Whatever it is weighs a ton. never used one of these before so I'm not sure how remote I don't know what that is either. oh wait a minute what is that
Come on. This just is gonna be a hour of me. Ah. Oh. That ain't bad. This kind of feels awkward, but yeah, that is how it's supposed to go. So, you unscrew this. And then you do this. To store it away. Okay, makes sense. So there's that, and then, um, we're gonna need, hopefully that goes in like that, which it does. But I need to not tighten that a little bit there. Some crap in there, but, wow. Look at that, that's like, Borderline fucking professional shit. And don't worry guys. Nuvicon video camera. It's Nuvicon. Let's look at the manual while that thing cools. While that thing uh, gets to room temperature. Alrighty. The manual. You see? Also, if you need this manual, I will gladly... I will gladly um, send you a copy. Oh wow, this is in like beautiful condition. Perfectly readable. Auxiliary connector. Let's see. Auxiliary connector. What the hell is this? I don't know what that is. It's like a... Oh yeah, that is some sort of auxiliary connector. Probably for like a... Well, this thing already... This thing has a built-in character generator, so... That can't be it. So, yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay. Important safeguards. Now you're ready to pair. Oh my god, I gotta. Look at this. <laughs> now you're ready to prepare the camera for recording. Like, this is back then when people took pride in their manuals. And now, like, nowadays. <laughs> Good luck finding that. Hmm. Okay. Knob handle release, EFF lock lever, zoom variable speed, zoom ring lever, record pause trigger, um, tally light, yeah we do got that, distance detection, record review, oh that's what that does, okay, color control knobs, Iris, auto white balance, color, temperature, standby switch, focus, VHS compa compatibility switch, um, display, rewind, play, pause, camera, VCR switch. Okay. Date your recorder, time your VCR recordings. Date or time your favorite recordings. I'm feeling like cold air coming out of my fucking window. 
Okay, then. So I guess this does not have... Oh, oh God, that's nasty. Oh. I guess this doesn't have a character generator built-in. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. So you have to do it manually, and fucking hell, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> Oh, that's all white bounce. Okay. Iris. Okay. Oh, that's 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 neat. Look at this. Iris. Pull out. And then adjust. Sweet. Auto. Here's these controls. We'll do a review of the V Shar on this camera. I wonder how old this camera is. Let's see. There's a date usually on the bottom, and it is from 1983. 1983 on the camera. Okay. Like, you can appreciate the wall. Oh, my. Oh yeah, it does this negative and positive. That's a, a a feature in the camera. Negative and positive. Doesn't smell like bad caps at all. It smells kind of new. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Trip to Rome. Trip to. Okay. Um. There are 60 spaces on the viewfinder that can be used to place a character in. Clear the viewfinder as described in step 3. Title your favorite recordings. Make sure the display button is pressed to the display position. Press the mode button repeatedly until a flashing cursor character appears. Okay, so that's... that's. God, this looks so hard. I don't know. It, it may be easy. I have no idea. The camera remote control board. Yeah, you can... Play, slash pause, slow advance, scan, insert. It's basically like a remote control all in one. Audio recording. Audio quality. The camera has an automatic volume control which amplifies quiet sounds and prevents loud ones from distorting the recording. However, in a quiet situation, the microphone may pick up background noises that you don't normally pay attention to. It's always a good idea to do it. <laughs> Test recording and listen to the playback sound with the earphones supplied with your VCR, the built-in microphone. This stereo microphone is designed to pick up sound equality from all directions and very sensitive and will record the loudest sound very clearly. Oh, okay. This doesn't have a microphone distance switch, it just has stereo and monero. So, yeah. I love this thing. I love it already. It's heavy though, but that's quality right there. China ain't got nothing on this. This is Japan we're talking about. Oh, external mic left and right, so I can plug in my own mics, even though the VCR supplies that. I don't know what they... Uh, I don't know. Oh, this goes to the viewfinder. Okay, let me just plug that in. Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. No. You're gonna go in there, and you're gonna like it. Come on, um, there we go, there, there we are, that looks good, this uh, cabling looks kind of fray, actually, I think, if I want to, that looks like a nice quality mic in there, looks like a boom style mic too. Oh, you can actually add a flashlight to the back, and this is how you unlock to move different positions. I'm going to lock it there because, yeah. You know, there's no point in having a lock. Well, actually, yeah, there is. I really wish this one had, like, the character generator. You open the door and it's there, but sadly, no.
The lens looks very good. So hopefully we don't have a damaged tube in here. Although if, it, if the tube is damaged, I do have a tube that may work with this. Considering if it's made by a Panasonic, which pretty much everything in the 80s was rebatched as Panasonic. Massachusetts. What is this? Push the focus. Oh! Sweet, and then you, then you do autofocus. VCR, camera, position. So yeah, we're going to have some fun with uh, this shit. Considering that the uh, camera is still in good condition. Oh my god, it has record lights. Yes. Oh, this is going to be so much better than the beta, I think. Tips for producing a quality recording. Lighting. You can record with good results in a wide range of lighting levels. Conditions. Natural lighting pr procedures. Most true to life killer. When you're shooting outdoors, always try to keep the sun at your back. This lessens the shadows on your subject. When you are shooting indoors under low light conditions, you may want to add lighting. Key light is placed in front of your subject between 30. Uh, base light is next to importance. Backlight. Just like that. That's cool. Tape speed selection. Your video cassette recorder is able to record tapes at three speeds. SP, LP, long EP. Well, this one can record up to... Uh, SP, LP, and SLP, which those are good. The, um, have you all have unwanted noise on the soundtrack? Deposit oxide coating on the VCR heads and make them dirty. Quality of tapes. Quality of recordings are greatly dependent on the quality of your cassette tape. Lower quality tapes tend to stretch. Well, yeah, he ain't wrong. To keep the camera steady while shooting. Yeah. Switch, so. We're gonna have some fun with this. We got like all this stuff to learn. But yeah, if you if you need the uh, manual to this, uh, I'll gladly give you a copy, free of charge, cause I'm not a stingy bastard, unlike some people. But look at this vintage graphics VCR in the kitchen outdoor with the actual fucking camera outside in the living room oh my god that's old school wow that's like the future and in the rich person's house with the projector TV which sucks ass Keller video camera we bring good things to life your direct line to General Electric Dancer Center, 888-800-626-2000. Wow. Let's see what else we got on the back. General Electric Company Video Products Division, Port of Portsmouth, Virginia. Huh. So, uh, yes. This, um, this could have been a sales camera. Because I don't look like a normal man right in me, but, you know. Okay. Um. Let's see. What was I about to say? Oh, yeah, the model number. The model number on this beauty. The model number is right there. Of course, the camera cannot focus on a camera because that's, that's not... That's, that defeats physics. The model is... One CVC 4035E. One, yet again. One CVC 4035E. Yep. That's how that works. And this is a thing. I don't even know what it is. It's expensive. Whatever it is. Probably an old tripod mount. Maybe it was like to move the camera around. Who knows where this was located in its time. Okay, let's uh, plug in. Let's plug it into the VCR and see what it does. Because, yeah, I'm very curious. Let's plug it in. Oh my. The, the camera's powering up. So we can 
Let's see. <sighs> Don't tell me it's broken. We have some life. Holy shit. It just revived. just revived. I was doing some weird shit. It's open. Oh, that's got a negative effect. What? I don't know what it was then. That was weird. It's definitely gonna need a clean. Okay, so. That worked. I don't know what the hell I did though. It just came back to life. I was doing some weird shit in the screen and then it just came back to life. I don't understand that. But damn clue what I did. I just plugged it into here. I guess it needed full power to do anything. Probably power supply issues, you know? But uh, yeah. She's running. I don't know how good. Let's plug it into the television set. Ooh, baby. <laughs> it's got color. The focus is horrible. Oh, no. oh okay. Uh, you got it on stereo. And, and, and. Come on. There, we're gonna have left and right stereo. <laughs> Let's make sure our stereo switch is on. Yep. Oh my god, look at that! That's a fucking cool feature. You can make it negative. <laughs> it had to be like three feet away from the fucking camera to get it to do anything. This picture don't look bad. I'm gonna say that right off the bat. It don't look bad. It looks good. Look at that shit. Yes, yeah, so, uh, what do you guys think? Should I go in the power supply and replace the capacitors in it? Because definitely that was a power supply problem. Damn. What? Oh, battery's dead. Fuck. Oh, well, uh... That's what I get. Let's see if it turns on now. The battery is fully charged. Okay. Yep. Not powering on. That sounds great.
That was weird. Let me try that again. Stop. Give it any more power. And then let's give it power. And then let's hit operate. Yeah. Well, I don't know what that is. Probably capacitors. You never know with these things. These things are just ancient, ancient ass technology. <laughs> that is probably decrepit. So we got a picture in the viewfinder still. Let's move it to auto. Auto bounce that shit. Okay, there's the, there's that. Auto white bounce. <gasps> wow, that actually worked. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. I know what that is. Okay, so the auto white bounce. Oh my God, that is cool. The auto white balance, it basically flicks a white thing in front of the screen to white balance it. You don't need to point out a white thing, you just need to hit that and white balanced. It has a bit of a green effect. Just doing that. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello camera. Wakey wakey. Ooh. That looks better. Let's do that. Wow. This actually does not look bad. What's the mess with the color? Okay, that's the red. Okay. That's like the blue. I think it would look like that, right? Mm. It looks good. Oh, wow. Okay, the viewfinder is blurry. And also looks like it's uh, having some trouble. It looks clearer from this side, but I'm going to get this side. It doesn't look clear. Probably because it's electronic. My eyes cannot focus on that. I think what I'm going to need to do is do an adjustment with the focus. It's not very, uh...
this thing is like revolutionary technology here. This is like revolutionary. Let's set. Uh, So that's the uh, iris. Let me just push that back. Wow, this is like I like this. Okay, that's um. Let's take out the tape so we don't waste battery. I don't want to waste any battery in there. I want to keep playing with this camera. Okay, so, uh, display, oh. display, yep, E, fast, yeah, we already know that, but, uh, let me show you this, this is pretty revolutionary, so, when I push the iris, and then mess around with it, look, I can move that around, and it tells me if the iris is shit or not, I mean, that's like that's really cool. And you push it, and it adjusts it itself. This is pretty revolutionary shit. And look what I mean by uh, auto focus, auto white bounce. Look at this, white, bam, auto white bounce. It just puts a white filter over the lens, and then you can white bounce it. I don't know what. Position means. I need to look at the uh, titling stuff. Here we are. Titling. Feels like I'm like just opening a video camera from like the 80s that is like new old stock and shit. Pretty damn much. Not new old stock. Well, it might be. Yeah, it's definitely had use though. So, but let's see here. Here we are. Displays on the, when the camera is connected to a portable VCR. Several displays can be made to appear on the display button. See camera remote control board panel on the opposite page is one of the keys to see on the viewfinder. Mm-hmm. Battery, memory. So oh, yeah. The reds don't look very good. Well, well. The reds look good. Okay, that looks good. Um Let me recording. Date your VCR recordings. Location forward to change the day. Press day forward, reverse button until. Okay. Oh, yes, I see. I see here. Oh. Years. Maybe this.
VCR date month. I guess it doesn't want that. Unless I'm not doing this right. Fuck. Make sure the display button is pressed to display generators. When the power is first turned on, the date can be set until December 31st, 1999. Are oh, you telling me this thing can go up to 1989? 1999. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I think I know. Is that the. Move off. Up there. Moved. Come on. Come on. I figured it out. You have to turn off the display. And then the date comes up. If you put display on, it doesn't show. But then you have display. <laughs> wow. You could change the colors too. Look at this. You could change it to white, green, and blue. White, green, blue. I like green. Looks cool. the 1982 camera. Holy shit. <laughs> well, 1983 camera. This, um, this mount works really good as a fucking tripod. Well, uh, yeah, tripod. Weird. Let's go to the shed. Let's get this damn thing ultimate test. This is a Nuvicon camera. So, it'll hopefully give me a good picture. What is that? I don't know what that was in the sky, but it was weird. What the hell was that? It was a light in the sky. I don't know what that was. Whatever it was, that was weird. What was that? 
I don't know if the camera picked that up, but it was a weird flash of light in the sky. Oh great, the door. Let's give it a real good low light test. Oh baby, this thing does good. Damn. Well, we should uh, go indoor. In the outdoor mode. So uh, do all the white belts. Oh yeah, white bounce light is good. Oh, let's do our fade. Oh, I love this feature. Fade. <laughs> it doesn't work. Huh. The lights are, um, going off, so... Do this way. I don't know what that was. I need to play around with the fade more. The uh, autofocus needs some oil. So when it's in like really high light, the uh, camera, um, the camera appears to be in focus in the viewfinder. It's weird. Kind of sucks, but I know it's gotta be in focus. But look at this. <laughs> I could change the uh, color of the uh, viewfinder, see? I can make it green, orange, but I want it white because I'm bland. You see that? Look at that. Got the, um, I don't know what that is. Sugar dish. What the hell? I got one bar of battery missing. I'm recording for four minutes. Sure. 
Four minutes and thirty. Seems about right. Vintage chair, though. Stunning. You can see the vintage antique architecture in that chair. Look at that. Some vintage. This is um, a test of the camera. <sighs> I think it, let me see this. Oh no. I think we're recording in um, hi-fi stereo. Uh. We should be at least. First time this VCR has been outside with an old ass camera for years. And I'm liking it. I mean look at those flowers. Look at that. Picks it up so well. Just looks fucking fabulous. Now this ain't the power zoom I was thinking of, but I think it's because the zoom needs grease to work better. Oh look at that. That's from my movie I did. Actually, no. That's from my movie I did. Look at that card. It's still on there.
it, this camera almost acts as if it is a CCD because it is not a bad camera. This camera has very good low light sensitivity. I mean, you can see that clearly. Look at that. See? Yeah. What I don't get is why the fade does not work. I'm clicking fade and it's just not doing anything. What am I supposed to do? Rewind, fast forward. I'll have to look into that, but uh, fade does not do anything. sure was making some weird grinding noise. I did not like that. I'm impressed with this. I would have thought this would give me shitty color, but no. No. I'm at shitty low lighting. No, this thing is not giving me that. It's not giving me shitty low lighting. This is actually, if you were rich back then, this is what you, what is that doing? What the, I know it's windy, but, yeah. I'm gonna have to probably take this apart, give it some grease. It needs it, obviously. It hasn't been used in years, I'm sure. You can see the streaking effects. You know. Let's see how it does with that. No, can't do anything with that. I think this does better than my other camera. I'm. I i do not know. All I do this camera just does everything for me. I don't have to control the focus or anything like that. I just have a period correct camera pretty much. Let's get out of there. Paint on this door is just peeling. You just see it. Oh. Okay then. 
Um, I said close. Thank you. Just look at this steel door. Yummy. Let's see what we got on for battery. Two bars of battery. This is gonna die soon. I don't know how many hours I've got. Wait, it will tell me. Eight minutes. Oh no, that's not enough. Damn it. Looks like the damn battery's just gonna die today, isn't it? Ugh. microphone's probably getting so much noise in it. It did say it has noise canceling, so we'll figure out how that works. them. Overall, the test went well. Um, overall, the test went well. The camera functioned as needed. It's cold as hell, although the inside is warm because that tube. That's the good side of having a tube camera. It warms up the electronics. But uh, I need to learn how to use the fade control. Okay. Lighting. Fade and out. Okay. Push the fade button to activate the fade feature. The feature eliminates during scene changes. The picture and audio will automatically fade in or fade out every time the record says pause trigger is squeezed to start recording or pause the recorder. The tape will not. Start recording until the picture in the viewfinder is fully faded out. The tape starts recording as the picture fades in. The recorder will not pause until the picture and audio have completely faded out. I don't know how the setting the camera to stand by shooting a negative color picture. Um. Push the fade button to activate the fade feature. This fade feature is eliminating the picture and audio will automatically fade in or fade out every time the records a pause trigger switch. Oh. Okay. Um, the picture and audio will automatically fade in or fade out every time the record says pause triggers. Trigger is squeezed to start recording or pause the recording. Okay. Okay, well that's covered. That's covered then. 
I don't know how the recording turned out, but I think it turned out good. This is the first time this uh, VCR has been out and about. So hopefully we get a good recording. Although the VCR was making some weird noises, like grinding, but I think it's okay. At least I could hope. At least. Oh god, we're getting scratches on the damn thing now. Uh, I don't like that. Oh well. Um, the camera held up well. It did all of its functions as it as intended and supposed to. The camera, the low light on this is very good. It can actually see in almost complete darkness and not have a problem with it. But that's what you would expect from a Richmond's video camera because this was not cheap back in the day. Um, recorder did well. It did all the functions. I, I put it, believe it or not, it still saved my title that I left in here. So that back the battery that keeps memory is still good. Cause yeah, unless it unless the recorder memorizes it, I don't know. But uh yeah, the it surprisingly still kept my title. So that's good. That's very good, a matter of fact. Because you can still save it. Now, when when I turned it on, it didn't take as long to warm up and turn on. It seems that there might be a little bit of capacitor problems, but it's not enough to make me replace some. But yeah, this, uh, this thing did good. I'm proud of it. Um, it needs oil, though, as you can hear. It needs some oil. And it needs, uh, and this, uh, is not quiet. The focus, it's not quiet. I'm curious if the microphone even picked it up. I doubt it, but I'm hoping it didn't. The auto white bounce worked perfectly. When, when it, when it, um, is white bounced, it, the white bounce light turns red to green, which tells you it is good. This, uh, worked fine. We have it on stereo, mono, stereo, the record indicator worked, overall it's a good camera. And uh, I already have a place to keep it, to keep it safe. Also let's, uh, wait, when was this TV turned on? I think I left this TV on. Turn it on. We'll just uh, plug the VCR in. And but this is a nice camera. I'm, I love this thing. This is a good camera. It's weird that it only could record for 8 minutes. Because with the Betamax, it, it could record to 42 minutes on this battery. Unless this battery is now dying and getting bad, which, oh fuck. That's probably the case. Because it is an old battery, but hell, it still works. It works fine. Yeah, that is my review on the General Electric Nuvicon video camera from 1983. Thank you for watching, and goodbye, and thanks for seeing the test video.